I started six tonight. Um, was running third majority of the race. Got into lap traffic. It played to my advantage. Um, got by Ledger, and then I uh, got Bramer, and had a bunch of restarts there at the end. It was getting me worried. Bramer was trying to slide me the last restarts, and it was getting close. So that last one of three to go really made me nervous. But we pulled her off tonight, and couldn't be happier. Looking forward to Wednesday and uh, Dennis in Iowa, and. Keep the ball rolling and go from there. Um, this whole 360, Nebraska 360 series has just been great. Um, first year for it, and I can't believe how many uh, cars we're getting on a weekly basis. Like out here at Butler, we had 30 one night, and we had, I think we had 20 tonight. It's a good thing. Uh, we lost our weekly racing, and for everyone to come together and get something going and keep 360 racing alive, it's real good. So. Hopefully we can keep it going and grow and build for next year. Right. Well, we started fourth, you know, track was fast on the roof all the way around, you know. We got behind Seth, we caught some of traffic and Seth got around him, I had some troubles and Trevor slid both of us and the caution came out. Halfway through the race I finally got through, um, we got by Seth up top when he tried to slide on Trevor. Then we had another caution and uh, I think Jack pulled off and broke. Then um, another caution came out. Hey, I, I personally think that this series kind of saves sprint car racing in our area. The ASCS with Chuck Zidrich, you know, he's the main guy in Oxford for Saturday nights, which kind of eliminated Saturday night racing for us. We went to the class of 360s, it kind of brought racing back in the Midwest and the, the Omaha, Nebraska area, and uh, Kansas. Well, start off seventh, and uh, it was a little crazy. It was slick out there. Uh, we've been as size we've ever been at this racetrack, but. Uh, started seventh, got, just kept picking them off slowly one at a time. And towards the end there, we got a little better. Uh, found some rubber down at one and two on the bottom. And came through there, got a couple guys, but uh, we we're just kind of gliding. But Trevor, he was gone, man. I can't believe how good he was. But uh, it was fun racing, and uh, nothing got tore up. So that's the main thing. Yeah, when I see his nose, that's what I thought was, oh man, where'd he come from, you know? And then. Uh, I didn't see his number on the board, and that's what when I came in here. Everybody said he was lap down still, which which I thought was right, but I didn't know why he'd be racing with a lap down. But then he didn't know it. I went over and talked to him. It's not bad, you know. It's uh, they've done work, hard work, you know, trying to get us races everywhere and stuff. I think you know the main thing they need to focus on a little bit is just getting the rules stated down and and uh, make sure we prosecute with them, you know, to that way just keep the fair for everybody and everybody wants to keep going back. But other than that, it's great. I mean. Love racing everywhere we do. So um, we started fifth. I think we were up to fourth or third right at the beginning. And um, front end broke. Uh, been having problems with front ends all this year, and evidently uh, this one got me. And uh, like I said, we we're up to fourth. The front end broke. Had to come in and uh, took like four or five laps to get the front end in, and then it, we missed. We missed it. And then the yellow came out luckily, so we had to give it more time to get that front end finished up. Got back out and. Um, we uh, come from the back up to uh, third, and up third, and come in. They said I was a lap down, so uh, I don't know what's going to go on. And um, I just wish they would have threw the black flag or something, and at least told me over the radio or something because I wanted to race the guys up front that hard. So, okay, um, um, other than that, the racetrack is perfect this year. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a good thing because if it wasn't for this series. Uh, there wouldn't be no racing going on this year, and we'd all be sitting at home playing Xbox or watching Speed Channel, you know. Uh, but no, I think it's a good series. It's definitely growing, and uh, like tonight we had 20 cars, I think, or 22 cars. So we're always getting a full field of cars, putting on a hell of a show, and hopefully we can get more cars next year.